Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So believe it or not, but ChatGPT can pass the originality.ai and it's <laughs> really simple. Not only that, but uh, we will be exploring the three unique use cases for the new feature, which is the custom instructions. And to turn them on, you need to go to settings better, better features, and here it is, custom instructions. Try a new feature that lets you share anything you'd like ChatGPT to consider across its responses. So first things first, let's try something that is in the title of the video. And for this to happen, we will need this new feature enabled. And also we will need my good and trusty prompt that is hosted on trickmino.ai. And this is called the conversational hybrid prompt. Let's just copy this over. So now when you go to ChatGPT, you have these custom instructions and there is currently a 1500 characters limit, which is between 200 and 400 words. So I'm still struggling to understand the purpose of these two windows. So what would you like ChatGPT to do now about you to provide better responses? Let's just say I like ChatGPT responses sees to pass AI content detection. And here I can actually paste my prompt, which is um, write, write an engaging article. We'll substitute it with write in a style, in a style that incorporates a human-like style, <laughs> simple English contractions, idioms, transitional phases, interjections, dangling modifiers, blah, 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 while also Weaving in literary devices such as symbolism, irony, foreshadowing, metaphor, personification, hyperbole, alliteration, imagery, <laughs> onomatopoeia, onomatop I think that's how it is spelled, and simile. Well, I've gone through this smoothly uh, without directly mentioning them. So, so if we now press save, and this will be applied to um, the new chats, not the existing ones. We'll choose GPT-4 and now we can use our favorites. Use markdown formatting, formatting to write an article about and let's spice it up a little bit, shall we? Can dogs eat? What's the weirdest thing? Can dogs eat mm, 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 Pringles? <laughs> okay, and as you can notice, there is nothing special about this prompt. So I'm not saying write an engaging article. I'm not saying write a, an article in a conversational tone. Let's just throw with it. Oh, dogs and Pringles, what a tasty twist. So you immediately see that the context window or whatever it's called, the custom instructions rather, is being applied. Because this is not a normal writing style of ChatGPT. The craving canine conundrum. <laughs> the salty truth. An occasional chip of the old block. In conclusion, a woof of warning. I like that. In the grand scheme of things, if your dog devours a whole can of Pringles, don't panic, but do keep a close eye on them. Okay, fair enough. And uh, let's go to originality. Start a new scan. That's what I should have chosen. Okay, let's just paste it in. Let's get rid of this node here. Uh, oh, it's in markdown format. And, uh, Hang on. Okay. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, we can just paste the whole thing, actually. Actually, uh, scan now. 
<laughs> and this is 98% original, guys. 98%. So I'm the grandmaster of AI detection. So, and so this is uh, the first use case of uh, the custom instructions. So now, um, whenever it's active, and you can deactivate it, obviously, everything that comes out of uh, GPT-4 is capable of uh, passing originality.ai. So my lovely essay writers, wink, wink, you can use this for free to pass turns in as well. Okay. So the second use case is more down to earth. And unfortunately, you can, at least for now, you can only have one custom instruction which is kind of, well, it's not handy at all. So what, uh, if, you, if you've watched my videos uh, frequently enough, you know that whenever I'm prompting ChatGPT or any other AI model to write an article, I use the following prompt. Always write articles using bolded words lists and tables and always write articles in markdown formatting using bolded words lists and tables what would you like ChatGPT to know i like my articles with and again like i don't really see the value in these two windows here maybe i'm doing it wrong I like my articles with markdown formatting using bolded words, lists, and tables. Okay. Save. So now let's open a new chat. And let's um, do the same, actually. So let's go crazy. Uh, and I won't be saying anything about markdown formatting or lists or tables. Write an article about can docs eat Pringles. Okay. And as you can see, this is using bolded words. This is a list of sorts. And this is a table under the conclusion. Uh, I have not specified the length of the article, but formally all of the uh, all of the all of the requirements have been met so and i'm just curious if this is going to pass the detection here <laughs> oh uh mark down for my and uh, and this is zero percent original so let's try it again now with the mark down formatting and this is 0% original, so see how the previous use of the custom instructions worked. And finally, one of the great use cases of this custom instructions thingy, let's just uh, head to custom instructions, is to use it with your brand voice. So uh, this is a two-step process. First, uh, we need to extract our brand voice. And I have a very random article from TechCrunch talking about the availability of uh, GPT-4 to the general public. And yeah, I think this is sufficient. And uh, did I paste in the prompts? Yeah, I did. And the prompt goes, analyze the below text for tone, uh, voice, Vocabulary, syntax, uh, tone of voice. This is a weird prompt. Tone of voice, vocabu vocabulary, vocabulary, <laughs> syntax, grammar, and punctuation. And this is the text. Okay. Analysis of the text, tone of voice, vocabulary. The tone of uh, the text can be described as neutral and informative. Technical and domain specific, syntax clear and straightforward, grammar correct and follow standard English conversations and punctuation appropriate and ace readability. And <laughs> actually, uh, and this is interesting, I, I forgot that I had the, um, remember how I had bolded words, lists and tables, and now it's actually writing me a response using bolded words and tables. But that's okay, we only need this part here. 
Yeah. So this is what we got. Always write in my tone of voice using my preferred vocabulary vocabulary syntax and grammar and actually i just had an idea mm -mm 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 -mm. and we'll test test it out in a second grammar and i can't spell grammar oh back so now now if we save it and i have no I won't be testing it, obviously, but now if you prompt JGBD to do anything, then you get the, the tone of voice of your brand or your product or yourself. And actually, actually, uh, remember how the... I just remember in one of the previous videos that I did and I have an idea. So, uh, I like my articles this is the uh, second use case with bolded words lists and tables and and now this is beautiful a re readability level that corresponds to grade 8 and I will just duplicate more or less, um, write articles, articles are written with bolded words, list and tables. Okay, safe. Now, let's try for the Gandalfxid longer one more time, one last time, write an article about can dogs eat Pringles and now this should be written using marginal formatting using lists and tables and bolded words and a readability level that corresponds to grade 8 and I will uh, open up a Hemingway app okay I'm just curious because these are the like the the hygienic factors, so to speak. So I like my articles to be formatted in a certain way, and I like them to be readable. So let's check this with Hemingway. Oh, again, markdown formatting. Markdown formatting. Um, I don't want tables. Table of contents. Uh, well, we can. So we don't need that. Okay. And well, the readability level is grade five, so it's not, it has not matched my prompt, but it is not uh, readability level of grade 12 or 11 or high school or whatever. So this is good readability level. And I think this is the prompt of the use case for custom instructions that I will be using by default. Just like I'm tired of writing use lists, uh, tables, and bolded words uh, over and over again. <laughs> Hopefully this was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.